Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new Safe Bar. We are jumping in again. We are on a beautiful win streak of a whole two. Um, and we're going to play as the Tainted... Oh dude, we did so much as Tainted Forgotten last time. Let's go Tainted Forgotten though and do, um, do Light Path, I think. I do love Tainted Forgotten. He's just an absolute goddamn blast. I don't know why, like, I've seen so... I've, I spoke about this in my last episode of him actually. I've seen so many posts on like reddit and stuff and just people commenting about how like they just don't get this character or i don't like him i just can't fathom it i can't it's like the most fun character ever it's like it makes so many items that are normally trash so good <laughs> i love it clearing a room after taking damage in two separate rooms will heal for one um red heart that is unfortunately absolutely sodding useless <laughs> oh god I, I really wish items like this would have a, a slight addendum to make sure they do something for non-red heart characters just like half a soul heart every now and again or something god damn god damn it's it's fine it is whatever it is but yeah as for the question of the day when was the last time you yeeted your skeleton at someone I'm sure everyone will be like, recently, yeah. <laughs> Happened yesterday. But, if you could, would you? Now that's a valid question of the day. <laughs> Is it? Is it really the tell? Because maybe it's not. Do you know what I found out today? Very, very interesting. Oh, come on. It's just kind of a dick move game. Um, I found out that, well, BD1P found out that there's, like, this dude on SoundCloud that's been, like, making a bunch of pretty dope music, actually, and he's been sampling, like, loads of different people, including me and BD1P. There's a song that starts with a sample of me talking about, like, depression. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, I'm just gonna go and quickly check up on, um, Yieldy Secret Room. I think it's right there. It's almost definitely right there, but I'm gonna go through this door first. Yeah, it's, it, it, it has to be here, right? There you go. Oh, crawl space. This, could this be the item that I didn't end up getting? It is a good item. I do have flights. This makes it, this a little easier. Yeah, we now have this poopy item here, which um, I think will work on the Forgotten. Basically, if we um, we have a small chance on hit based on our luck to turn these into poop, I think that could be pretty darn good. And I think it can do various types of poop as well. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Right. Do I want Plum Flu? I don't think I do. It can work on bosses as well. I just, I'm just i curious how it works with being thrown. Dude. I think I accelerated that guy when I threw at him. I think I, like, yeeted him. Yeah, don't. Oh, I can't fly over these blocks in the corners. My bad. I tried to fly over the top of the block, completely forgetting that that doesn't work. Okay, we got him there. And we get the boxes. It's a, not a terrible reward. It's a, it's a little more terrible when you get the tick, I'll be honest. Um, just grab an Emperor card. Guess we just go. It's not a great first floor, but a little bit of poopy stuff going on. I don't mind that. Glad I didn't take plum flute at this point now that we've got a library. Good. good. Throw you out of there. See what's going on in here. Okay. So. Algis is nice to have. Judgment. I was not hoping for that type of judgment. Um, This book is pretty darn good. So I think I take this book. And I pick up this book. And then I use it, of course. I think I'm going to take the Emperor right now. Reroll this into another book. Okay. I don't know if it's worth carrying on re-rolling, to be honest. But, I guess I could maybe clear out all of the books, although seems highly unlikely. Um, right. We'll see if we get any more money to keep going with that, I guess, and we'll Emperor card now. I'm not gonna do Devil Deal here, so 
I like the way I've got a box around me from the box item while I'm a uh, little little city here forgotten. The only thing is this kind of slowly pushes the boss away from my swings, which is not ideal. You go, you crumble away. Bit of speed up, never hurt anyone. Don't mind it, don't mind it. But yeah, with this book, we take double damage, but we generate a black heart every um, every three rooms. It's pretty, it's it's pretty good to be honest. It's pretty good. You can gain health pretty quickly, especially in the in the early game. Um, and um, it means that you you're basically always full on black hearts, which means black heart death effects are very valuable. So if I can get that item that makes them even more stronger, missing page is it? Then it's good stuff. Wins all around. Beautiful stuff. And at the minute, we've got more than enough damage to basically wreck anything we need to wreck. And not ideal. Yeah, I kind of knew that was going to happen. Um, it's fine. We use the black heart on it. Oh, there you go. We tend to need to a poop there. So we've got confirmation that it does work. Well, well, well. Isn't this double Virgo? I don't think... Double Virgo really does anything for us, unless it just makes our immunity more common, maybe? Although I, I kind of doubt it, I'll be honest. Um, but always positive pills is never a bad thing, something that I often forget about Virgo. Someone made a really good suggestion uh, in one of my previous videos when I forgot I had Virgo, about giving an EID uh, prompt when you're looking at a pill, if you have something that makes all pills positive, it just lets you know. Or like if you have False PhD, it lets you know that way as well. Guppy's eye. Great stuff. Saw that one coming. I say that. If, I, if I'd have seen it coming, I'd have avoided it, wouldn't I? Right. I'm going to keep re-rolling here, because I am I might as well get through as many books as I can. <laughs> Until I get a passive. And, yeah, okay. That's fine, yeah. Yeah, now kind of, I kind of forgot about the fact that there was a possibility of me getting a passive, but that's, that's, that's pretty good stuff. I'm pleased as punch. Uh, secret room is not something that I'm particularly familiar with here. Um, I'm not entirely sure where it would be. It could very well be here, so I'll try it. I've got enough bombs to risk it. Indeed it was, let me get some additional bombs. I could go for bombing some of those um, mushrooms, but honestly, I've only got four bombs. I wouldn't say that's a... That's a ton. Uh, we haven't done Mega Satan, have we? No, we have done Mega Satan. Okay, so we don't have to, we don't need to worry about that. We haven't done Delirium, though. So, um, we'll see if we get Delirium, I guess. Um, if we grab our key pieces regardless and just do Mega Satan. Oh, copper bomb? God damn it. Copper bombs annoy me. No, they're not, they're not bad, but they're just... They never, they never play to my favour, do they, so... Ooh, damn. I was wondering why we got poop straight away there. It's because we've got 11 luck in this room. But yeah, any luck upgrades we can get, we'll be um, very happy about. Oh, that was so stupid. It's fine. It's fine. As long as, we're not get if as long as we're getting hit less than once every three rooms, we're in a good spot. Why did that not use my copper bomb? Strange. Oh, I was... I made a huge mistake there. Ooh, ho, ho, baby. Pay to win? How dare you. Pay to win is good, but it's... ain't no way I'm replacing this active. This active is kind of like a sunk cost fallacy anyways, where I kind of need to keep it to make sure um, I gain back the health I lose from keeping it. <laughs> kind of a weird one, but good stuff. If we can get it with any sort of quicker recharge, it becomes pretty mental. What's the point in those negative charges? Forget. Stuff. Kind of an insane room here, but luckily not too hard. Especially when Fireboy is out here doing his thing. Wow. Is that another Algis? Next to our Algis with another Algis? Hopefully we get a blood donation machine or, or something here where we can take advantage of that. Um, ooh, baby. Can only be recharged by killing eight... 
Okay, let's try and get at least one use out of this on this floor. I'm a little annoyed that we're getting so many actives here, but tis what it is. Ow, good hit, sir. Good hit. This might be better because we don't take double damage while holding this, but it's a it's a consistent way of gaining HP. Basically, these little ghosty boys will spawn. Um, I don't know why it's not using my copper bomb. Unmemento, por favor. I'm going to check if there was an update to the mod that has changed something. Last updated... Ooh, what the hell? One second, there's a a mod here that I've never seen before. What is this? The Gloaming, a brand new Isaac experience by the Fiend Folio mod. From disco balls to make your enemies dance. What the hell? What the hell? One minute. I'm confused by what this is. Sorry, I've just... I've become enamored with this idea right now. I don't know what this is. I'm going to read more into this later. But anyways, let's continue on. Um, yeah, it's like this, this is... This active is pretty darn good and it's less risky. But it, it does only give me soul hearts, not black hearts. We got another library. Please let it be the same one so I can just keep re-rolling. Not expecting another library. That's pretty cool. This is kind of a kind of a shame. <laughs> There's just so many goddamn active items on this run. It's it's kind of nutty. At least them ones were extra. Oh god. Oh, there's one of those lifeblood thingies. Okay. But yeah, it can spawn from any enemy by the looks of things. There's one of the little buggers. But, don't know how I wasn't hit there, but I'll accept it. Another one. See what I mean? There's loads of them. Oh my god. There's so many of them. But they're kind of hard to kill. Okay. I think we'll be sticking with this. Okay, dokey. Okay. Whenever you place a bomb, a second one is placed next to it for free. It's pretty good. Holy Mantle is, of course, better. Like, by far. Ooh. Although, this is tricky. So, we have options here. Because, basically, Holy Mantle is, of course, absolutely amazing. Like, it basically guarantees that we win. This thing's pretty good because it's just plus two damage and double bombs. That seems great. And extra HP. But this really speaks to me. Spawn two sword familiars that orbit the player, and I think that will orbit the burn. Um, the swords will remain for four seconds after uh, they will spin, stay permanently. If Isaac has no damaged red heart containers... Wait, sorry. The sword will stay permanently if Isaac has no damaged red heart containers, but will move slower when they um, when they will be gone. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to gamble on this. Yes, okay. My gamble paid off. I think of all those things... These swords are going to be by far the most enjoyable of those things. Basically, it just creates our, uh, like this spinning wheel of death out of this boy. And like I said, there is two other items there that are probably overall better, especially Holy Mantle. But we take Holy Mantle whenever we see it. Let's let's try something that's a bit more synergistic, shall we? Oh god, One of those lifeblood things came back came back again. And honestly. I really don't think we need Holy Mantle with the sheer amount of HP we're likely to get out of this um, lifeblood pin thing. It just seems like it's going to yield us heavy, heavy rewards. I would say, at least. I don't know about you guys, but it seems like it. Oh, 
Good stuff. It just depends on how lucky you get, I guess, really, doesn't it? But yeah, throwing towards an enemy and then sitting it on top, we get this spinning wheel of death. Boom. See that? It's beautiful. I really like that. Oh, we got one of the lifeblood things again. Nice. And then, yeah, two soul hearts on use. Pretty, It's pretty wicked. I like this. These guys are going to be good for the little lifeblood things, I think. Sadly, they were not. But you never know. What's going to be the thing that gives us a lot of them? Any any enemies where it's like a lot of flies or whatever is going to be really good. It seems like there's no sort of safety mark to make sure smaller enemies don't spawn them. Because they def flies and stuff definitely do. Even ones that were spawned via a boss still drop them. Right, see what we've got going on in here. <sighs> Baby, this game's testing me. Do you know what? Mr. Dolly was our item room item. Let's just say that, shall we? Because <laughs> uh, I'm getting a lot of actives right now. A lot of actives. Kind of a sucker punch to the gut. That's another book. <laughs> oh, and guess what? It's also another active. Actives will never leave us alone. Thank you. Not that we need it, but thank you. Boom, bow, a little bit of extra money. Don't really know what I'm saving algas for at this point, but we just kind of have it. But yeah, you, you see the amount of extra damage we're getting out of this swingy thingy? Beautiful. Um, yeah, our health is, health is kind of ludicrous right now. Right, just keep pushing forward. Um, item rooms have been a hot pile of stink, but um, honestly, the run otherwise is going pretty well. Ooh. Tech module. This is a damage down, but I'm curious to see how this works. If it doesn't work at all, I'll be severely saddened. Because I just took a pretty big damage down. And yeah, it's going to be a real bummer if it literally does nothing. I don't have any keys. Balls. Seems like it literally does nothing. Oopsie daisy. Oopsie daisy indeed. Do you know what? What the hell's the thing called? Just remove it. There's no point having a, a, a big old damage down that literally does nothing. Saddens me deeply that essentially every item room this run has been pretty, pretty garbage. We've had, let's have a look. So our first item does nothing. Virgo, half decent. Um, and everything else, literally we've not had a single other item other than those. So yeah, things ain't going too hot in that department. The good thing is we have been getting a regular feed of chest items and items from other places. So I can't be too pissed. I can't be too pissed. Dude, we got the air was again. Oh, beautiful. It's the rosary, which obviously we don't need right now, but I'll still pick up for the fire rate increase. We have already seen the Bible, so I don't know if it'll show up again. I'm sure it will. I'm sure it'll replace our next item room, if we even have a next item room. We do. I'm sure it'll replace our next item room. Just to throw back in our face yet another active item. I'd in fact be surprised if it didn't. It wouldn't be in theme with this run if it didn't. Dude, these little lifeblood things. This, this thing's amazing. Like, this has been a really strong run for, like, survivability and HP overall. We did get birth, right? Um, well, that's, that's pretty. That's pretty useful. I like that. So now we can throw him and recall him, which is pretty nice. I don't need to use it, but it's it's going to make life easier for us, definitely. 
It basically, it's useful for when I'm throwing long distance. Like, I come over here and I, uh, I want to throw at that guy, and then there you go, I can recall. It's very nice in that scenario. It allows me to stay a little safer while throwing. Overall, good shit. Secret room there. I think we're good to go on this front here. Oh god, that cactus just absolutely annihilated that guy. I just dropped a golden penny from Swallowed Penny, it's pretty funny. I'll come back for you, Golden Penny. Let's check what's in here first. Pascal's Candle. Don't know how valuable that will be to us, to be honest, but it's nice to have. It also means we can retrieve our body more easily when it's in a dangerous location, too. Okay, cool. And yeah, we're good to go. Good stuff. Okay, Pascal Candle. Eh, I'm not sure how valuable that's going to be. Would it have been better if we had Holy Mantle? Is that another library? What is going on in here? Aha! I knew I was saving this Algis for something. I've got Book of uh, Shadows and Algis to spend on this guy. And he just gives me the fucking potato peeler. Guess what? It's an active item that I can't use. <laughs> What is going on with this game right now? What what are the chances of getting three libraries also? Like, it's crazy. That is pretty mental. The sun card, I'll just pop. A planetarium as well. This is a lucky run. It's, it's a weirdly lucky run. In ways it's unlucky. In ways it is lucky. Right, so, oh, we have a key right now. Okay, I'm sure we'll get one this floor. It's a pretty large floor. I'm not fretting about that. I'm not worrying. Ah, I didn't mean to use Al just there. Bollocks. I meant to use Recall. Ghost. There you go. And I said, I need, to, I need to remember that recall is free to use. It's not something that I have to sort of wait on. I might as well just use it. Right. Take the chaos disc. Second cactus boy. Come on, key. Show yourself to me, please. That's not a goddamn key. That's not a goddamn key either. This is getting a little annoying now. A little bit beyond the pale. Ah. There's not many rooms left, game. Don't you mother flipping dare. Don't you dare do this to me. I will hunt you down and kill you, game. Another bomb. Whoever would have thought. Oh, dude. These little fucking lifeblood things spawn from every single segment of pin. Are you kidding me? That's... <laughs> it's just insane. Imagine if you could overcharge this bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my lord. Not that we need them, but that's funny. Also, only two rooms to go to get a key. Oh, never mind fucking two. Scotchwood's pretty good. I hate you. I hate you, game. Wait. Key pick up sends a spicy key. Spicy key will double, but... Okay, pick that up for now. And then we've got we've got some... Uh, excuse me. 
We've got some plays to make. We have to min-max the ever-living shit out of this somehow. So, first... First things first. We could play this guy in the hopes of getting a key, but that's pretty unlikely. I think the first call to action is to try and get a bombsai key pill. 40 hour energy. Okay. Second call to action is to find the second secret room. Of which I'm fairly unsure as to where it is. There was nothing in here that gave me anything of a key, no. Damn it, game. Why you gotta be like this? Why you gotta give a man hope like this? Okay. Second secret room could very well be here. Or not. Okay. There's just so many places this could be. Could be here. Um, could be up near the item room. I think it's here. Not there. Every bomb I use is less bombs I can donate. Which puts us in an even more difficult position. I'm going to take a risk here and grab the full card so I can come back after in case I somehow get a key after the mum fight, which is super unlikely, I know. I think at this point I gamble on this guy and hope for the best. Game sometimes, man. Why? Again. This game sometimes, man. Why you gotta... It's, it's right there. It's very clearly right there. God damn it. It's so clearly right there. God damn. Okay, okay. Carry on with the fight. See if we get some way of coming back and making this work. Although, don't think it's super likely. It's such an obvious secret room location as well. Okay, we did get a bunch of lifeblooders. We did not, however, get any hearts or anything. We almost took the wrong one there. Okay, it looks like we're, we're just out of commission here. I will full card just in case there's something I can do here. But I just highly doubt it. I'd also like to rechange my trinket back to one that's useful. Can't believe I wasted a bomb like that. I mean, obviously there's no saying that uh, Second Secret Room would have actually given us, given us a key at all. It might not have done. God damn it. I wasted a key on the goddamn library as well. That's the worst part about it. Can't do anything with this. I'm just desperately trying to think of some way to make this work. I mean, now that I've wasted all my bombs, I'm pretty much done. I can't. Just, just, just how dare you. Fires can't give keys. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I think I've just got to go. <sighs> so, the item rooms on this run have been literally fucking useless for the entire run. <laughs> we've, we've gotten one single half-decent item in Virgo out of item rooms. Every single other item room has given us literally nothing or we've missed them. And the one time that we have to actually skip our item room, we can't even gain planetarium chance because number one, we're going to the... Uh, oh, look at that. Wouldn't you fucking know it. Uh, for one, we're going to the womb where they can't spawn unless you have uh, the trinket. But for two, um, we've already got one that we couldn't go to because we also didn't have a key. It's just... This game's fuckery sometimes. It's very annoying. Oh, God. Oh, really? <laughs> it just knows, doesn't it? Like, now it's just giving me key after key after key. You watch this room drop a key as well. No, it dropped a penny. Okay. You're forgiven a little bit, game. You didn't do me too dirty. Are these the new lumps? They look a lot better. 
But there's another key. Walk into the sky for me. Best pick up all the keys while they're here because God knows it won't give them us again if we leave them behind. I keep getting hit and losing my Pascal Candle bonus. I keep, I keep honestly kind of forgetting that I have recall, so I'm getting hit way more than I ought to be. All good. Ow. Once again, ow. It's a pretty good trinket, that. Pretty insanely good trinket, that. I, I think I'll take it. So now I can go back and get a coin heart from uh, this coin out here. Just it. Just in. Oh, wait. That didn't work? Okay. I guess I'm just going to take this thing because that didn't work. I don't know why. Them two got killed by the little fire dude there. I don't know what the hell was going on, but... Seems to work out pretty well for us. Okay. We probably won't skip phase here, but we'll at least kill her pretty quick. Yeah, I didn't think we'd skip phase. Okay, nice and easy there. We'll go up. It's weird, because like this run's still like pretty fantastic, but we've missed a lot. <laughs> like this run could have been so much better. Got a cash room here to go into. Ow. I'm not that bothered about being hit because I know it's so easy for us to get our life back. Use the recall, you doof. I keep forgetting we've got recall. It's just so easy to use and I just keep forgetting. Let's try and get Pascal Candle, little. Come on. Bring him in like that. Haha! -ha! Get your little shit away from me. I'm not dealing with that bullshit. Moon, I guess I'll use. Not particularly useful. Lots of money I can't do much with. Okay. Keep going straight up. I feel like that was the right way. It was not the right way. Oh, I can't even throw him outside of this window. I didn't know that. Okay. All good. Boom, bow. We're about to get our next uh, charge as well. Lifeblood charge. These guys are all firing herming shots at me. I don't like it. See how much easier that is if we just use our... Um, Recall ability. Okay. So unfortunately, that whole area over there was the wrong way. Who the funk? Yeah, this is. If you remember to use recall, it makes our life so much easier. Like, even just short recalls like that are huge. So much less danger for us. Oh, and also, I didn't realize there, I can, like, pass it back through the enemy to do some more damage. I only need some lifeblood buddies. I've, uh, I've grown quite weary. It's taking a lot of damage. Oh, my God. It's taking a lot of damage I shouldn't have. Okay, that room kind of cleared itself. These bitches. I hate these enemies, man. 
having a really hard time with them, and I'm not getting any lifeblood draws either. I was like, this will be an easy run. It'll be an easy run. And then the game's just like, do you know what? What if I didn't give you any more health after the first few floors? There is an eternal heart up there that I for some reason left behind. I'm going to go grab it at this point because I'm not supremely confident in my ability to get more lifeblood seed things. I mean, to be fair, all it takes is getting like pin on a, on a random room in the next floor to um, give us quite a lot of that HP back, I guess. That's not all bad, but like we can't rely on that as our only form of healing, really, can we? We're only two pips off, so... I'd imagine we'll hopefully get at least one more charge to this floor. Oh, this could be it. This could be it. Or not. I thought one of those would. Maybe later in the game, the, it does, just doesn't give you any more. Oh, no, no. I just got one. Oh, really? This fucking enemy, man. It's a cool idea, but goddamn, it's frustrating sometimes. Right. Just keep bashing on him. Doing very good damage. Unfortunately, we're not going to get great damage against uh, Isaac in this phase. Oh, really bad hit there. Just knocking him around so much, it's not conducive to, to my success here. Okay, good. We did get one of these things as well. Which gives us a charge. Very happy about that. We did get this, but we're not looking for that right now. See what our items end up being. I think we've got four keys, right? We've got ten keys, okay. Um, Midas Touch, very good. Especially with the amount of money we have right now. Um... All but all familiar, the blocks both enemy projectiles and Isaac's tears deal more contact damage to enemies the more tears it absorbs in the current room. That's pretty useful as well, I think. Um, little Steven, and then this other thing's kind of useless. We only have one look, so I don't think it's super useful to go through rooms uh, outside of just getting to the boss. Yeah, that Midas Touch is uh, pretty, pretty king here. I kind of forget how good Midas Touch is as this guy. Because your contact damage scales based on how much money you have. And obviously Midas Touch, we already have a lot of money, but Midas Touch gives you more money, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. More money. We got the Rebirth Curse. But this fly might end up being really good as well because it's going to absorb a ton of projectiles in the actual boss fight and then kind of destroy him. And then we get another use of our lifeblood thing there. Lovely. One of these crossy boys here. Very much no thank you. Beautiful stuff. Little old brother Bobby. Nothing crazy. That was kind of nice. <sighs> Come on now. Use the recoil, boy. Okay, I'm getting a bit confused on what's my fires and what's the enemy's fires in certain situations here. Okay, I'm at 99 already, so I don't really need to worry about that anymore. Unless I get deep pockets. Keep picking up the money, though. It's just satisfying, the sound of it. Oh, balls sake. This guy, I always forget he has to summon. I really wish he started off see-through. Ooh, hello, golden poop. I really wish he started off see-through so you knew he wasn't going to take damage, because I always forget. Every single goddamn time I forget. Such a stupid hit to take there. 
I don't know why didn't he... Oh, okay, it's because... I was going to say, I don't know why didn't he only be damaged to that guy then, but he's got crazy boss armor. This guy with low damage, like, initial low damage is really rough. That boss armor is just nutty. It only lasts a short while, but it's still very annoying. Like, you see how much damage I'm doing there? Like, literally nothing. It'll scale up pretty quickly, mind you, but... Oh, oh my god, I didn't expect that. Did not expect that. Right. Back this way we go. Not particularly happy with my current HP, so I'm going to do some more rooms and try and get some more lifeblood charges going. There you go. One more till we get a charger. None of those gave me a life bomb. Oh, God. What the... Still got goddamn hit. Didn't realize there was still an enemy left. Boy. Supposed to be fighting Mega Satan here. What am I doing? I mean, I, d dying at this point doesn't really matter. Um, it'd just be our streak that we'd lose. It's a little upsetting how much damage I'm taking, though. There's no need. And then, like, yeah, some sometimes I get tons of lifeblood things, and other times it's like none. Like, I'd like to get one more charge before we go ahead and do the uh, the boss, but I don't know that's going to happen. Good. Something, I guess. I suppose I could get charges in the boss fight as well. I don't really think about that. Okay. Yeah, I could get some charges in the boss fight, I suppose. But let's just give it a go. I know we don't need to do this, but... We might get a Delirium Pulse, so it's kind of worth it, I think. Don't know what's going on now. That's the second time something like that has happened recently, where a boss has just insta-died. Because it happened with Dogma, didn't it, the other day? Does anyone know what's causing that? And is it my fault? Is it a mod that I've got on? Because I, I really am unsure. I really am unsure. But, I mean, it skipped a phase somehow. I'm not going to deny how that's useful to me. <laughs> Yeeted those bombs away. Okay, we got him. Are we going to get Delirium? We are not, sadly. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. I really don't know what happened at the end there. If anyone can figure it out, let me know. I'll see you guys in the next one.